YouTube channel. We are in Rome and we've just checked into the hotel. <laughs> Why are you creeping in the Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> can you see me? Yeah, you oh. can just come into the frame. When you edit this, you're going to have to zoom in on me because I was just You're about like standing was, in the door. Yeah, because I was just about to, I was just about to film and then you started vlogging. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we are staying at the Hoxton. It's one of their newest hotels and the room is beautiful. I will show you a little room tour. I think we're staying in the Cozy Up. So it's not the smallest room, but it's the one above that. And it's for two people. We have a massive king size bed. And the downstairs is really nice also, didn't you think? <laughs> you wanna sit? Sit, sit. You can sit. I'll just stand awkwardly like like we're having our portrait time. Um and I think we're gonna go get a drink. I could really use a Bloody Mary. Something to kind of give me yeah, some energy. Oh one Bloody Mary, maybe we'll go to the bar downstairs. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be really chill i think today because we were up at like 4 a.m for our flight which was from stansted which was so turbulent i genuinely thought or i don't know if i genuinely thought it but the woman behind us genuinely thought we were going down and she started crying and having a panic attack it was that bad but yeah so welcome to our rome vlog and yeah let's do this <laughs> the morning and we've just ordered room service I'm not gonna show me yet cuz I'm not dressed or anything I'm in my PJs but Josh got the ricotta pancakes with fruit and it looks like it's come with honeydew melon and I ordered the spinach and lemon omelet which comes with a little salad and we got an avocado smoothie and I've just put it on a little tray so that we can have it in bed okay so our stay at the Hoxton is over. We're coming back though. Um, but we're about to leave and head to our Airbnb. Josh is finishing his breakfast. And, and yeah, so we're just gonna check out here, get an Uber to our Airbnb because it's kind of on the opposite side of town. And then later today we're going on a walking tour, like a two hour walking tour. I booked it through Airbnb actually. I'll let you know how that is. And yeah, hopefully not eat as much as we did last night because <laughs> I'm feeling so full still. So yeah, we'll see. But anyway, we're gonna go check in at the Airbnb now. across the street it's Friday afternoon so I think all the kids are getting out either for lunch or for the weekend um, but oh my god I literally can't even tell you this Airbnb is probably the most beautiful Airbnb I've ever stayed in the bathroom alone is stunning and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour I'll link it down below as well because I just can't I honestly can't get over it I can't get over it Josh and I have done like a million videos on our phone it's just unbelievable and yeah so after this we're gonna go for lunch I think um, and then we have a walk the walking tour that I probably told you about a million times later so yeah let's show you the Airbnb I can't I just want to say
Josh and everywhere closed. Josh is doing some work and so we didn't get out in time. But we've come to this bakery which is one of the places on my list and they do pizza. jeans we are finally <laughs> and after a coffee <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're at the place where our tour is um, so we're just waiting for the guy but yeah so we're waiting for the tour guide now and then we're going on a two-hour walking tour and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do because it seems everywhere for dinner is closed so we couldn't get a bucket but we'll see Pint of beer was nine pounds. Nine euros. Nine euros. Yeah. Yeah, that's more than that's more than what we pay in the centre of London. Yeah, it was you, you just pay six quid in London. Yeah, it was very expensive, and it wasn't that great. Like it was one of those touristy places. And I got this recommendation from another foodie. I'll um, put her link in the description. <laughs> um, but it's called Mimi in Coco, and it's like a bar restaurant. The wine's good so far. Do you like the beer? Yes, no, it's Peroni is good. Yeah, Peroni is good. We've just ordered food, so we'll show you the food when it gets here. But it was so busy, we had to wait 20 minutes. We had drinks in the line. Oh, look. Is it focused? You can't see it. You can't see it. <laughs> see it a little bit. No? Okay. <laughs> um, and they've been really nice so far, so we'll show you when the food gets here. really good the meatballs were delicious the Chardonnay was good Josh liked his beer the starter was just like your average caprese and I would say the cacio e pepe was good but it wasn't like amazing I feel like we probably can find another really good one but it was a nice meal we waited we had a drink while we waited and yeah I would recommend even if you just go there for snacks and drinks, it was really nice. And the staff were really friendly. And yeah, we're just back at the Airbnb now. Gonna watch, are we gonna watch Inventing Anna? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna watch Inventing Anna. And Josh fell asleep last night and I watched an entire episode more than he did because he kept checking on me. He kept waking up and being like, are you awake? And I was like, I'm awake. But then I look over at him and he's asleep. So I think we're gonna actually end up re-watching um, the episode <laughs> that I watched last night. And tomorrow we're gonna go to the market, maybe Trastevere and the Vatican. But yeah, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning from Rome. Look at our amazing view. I think the bin men are out because we keep hearing, I don't know if you can hear that, it sounds like the rubbish is being collected. 
we are heading to Campo di Fiori, which is a big square. That means that means field of flowers. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go to the market. We're gonna get some food probably for tomorrow, um, and then we're coming back to the area where we're staying to go to a restaurant called Nona Betta. Um, which we tried to go to yesterday but couldn't get a table because we were too late for lunch and I made a booking last night so we'll go there for lunch and then we're gonna go to Trastevere and the Vatican later today and I don't know if you can see but the sky is blue it looks beautiful and it's not too cold it's a little chilly but I'm gonna bring a jacket and we'll be fine What is it? Just pizza with tomato sauce, kind of. It's just like, like bread. Soft bread with a bit of tomato, tomato sauce. and cheese. Mm, nice. And I got this. I don't know what's in it. Eggplant, tomatoes, mozzarella. Mm. How is it? <laughs> All over my face. We tried to get into this one brunch spot and the wait was like 45 minutes and everywhere had a line. We went back to the bakery we went to yesterday for lunch and had pizzas. Like some, I guess it wasn't pizza, it was like focaccia what you had. And then I had little eggplant and pepper and mozzarella sandwich, like very many because we're going for lunch actually now. By the time we'd walked around, we only have an hour to lunch. So I was like, not gonna eat that much. Had a pear juice. And we did some grocery shopping at the market and at Carrefour, which is just like a chain supermarket. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I got. A Chianti. We couldn't decide what bread, so we got a baguette. Not very Italian. Really nice, juicy looking tomatoes. This is like my favorite kind of spinach. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll just show you. It's really thick leaves, some truffle, truffle salami, guancale, guanciale, I'm not sure how to say it, some eggs, spaghetti, they have the same brands as they have in the UK, some pecorino romano, a pe what is this? Focaccia. <laughs> this melon. <laughs> Mozzarella, soy milk so I can have coffee. My favorite thing, I'm obsessed with these like nectar juices that they have in Europe and they obviously have like pear juice, mango juice, everything. So I got one of those. Make sure your subscribers shoes. Oh yeah, and Josh got some new shoes. Josh is literally, <laughs> look at this. He's like, why don't you show them my new shoes? Having a lay down. Okay, you want to unbox them? Yeah, Go on. Go for it. <laughs> the most chilled unboxing. So Josh got some new sneakers. Oh, okay. Go on. <laughs> Let's see. They're dirty on the bottom. Yeah, you walked People all around the, the store. So yeah, these get, are... Get some B-roll on those. Okay, I'll get some close-ups. Those look nice. Turn it around. So they have this like suede detail at the front and gold and then the green suede at the back. We got them at this store called Rainbow Casual Jeans. So I need to see what time it is actually. We have like 40 minutes. So I might make a coffee, I'm not sure. And I'm gonna put everything away 
and then we're gonna go to lunch but yeah oh my gosh look how nice it is out out the balcony <laughs> lunch and the food was good the fried artichoke was the best thing but the service was really not the best the woman who sat us like seated us was very nice but the man who brought our bill it took like a half an hour so we're a little bit behind but we're gonna go we're going to the Vatican now ready Josh yeah let's roll